Hi there, welcome back to the Rare Book Views channel where I talk about my book collecting and my love of rare and special editions and my love of bookstores and libraries and reading. If you like those things too, please let me know. This might be the place for you. I have really appreciated everybody who has said nice things about this channel, which I really started on a whim at the encouragement of a friend of mine. <sighs> so much fun. It's so great to hear from people and it is the kindest part of my day often. People leave me nice comments and talk about books and I love it. So today I'm going to talk about my reading. I have just finished uh, the next installation of the To Be Read shelf, which is really fun. Uh, shockingly, it has really been great. I, um, I have been organizing the books that are uh, to be read, the new ones, and I used to get a little overwhelmed because if you watch the other videos, I go on a lot of shopping trips, I find things at great bargains, and then I set them aside. And that means there are a bunch of books waiting their turn. And this way, what I do is I just pick out a uh, assortment and put them on a shelf, and I just say I'm reading these next. So it doesn't bother me when I buy new books and kind of add to the waiting room. Um, and then I feel the sense of accomplishment when I read one book off of the To Be Read. Ah, yes, we are getting two. We're making progress along this set. And I've really enjoyed it. Let me know if you have a good technique for organizing your books and giving them priority. I did read some fun books and I'm happy to tell you about them. Uh, I read two books that are really more picture books, but Edward Gorey, I got this at a book sale in a bag sale where they charge you by the bag. So maybe depending on your math, it probably cost a couple dollars. This is vintage Edward Gorey and this is really fun. It's kind of an homage to Agatha Christie, and I'm on an Agatha Christie kind of kick. So this was really great. I love Edward Gorey. He's really weird. And he illustrated the John Belier's books that were perhaps my favorite as a kid. I love collecting them. I have a couple left. I also got also one of my favorite illustrators, Dear Millie, and this is illustrated by Sendak, and it was pretty cool. And this kind of book, when I get it at a sale or at a used bookstore, I put these on the shelf and think, well, I should read them. Uh, but really, I just need to spend some time absorbing the illustrations. But because they're on the To Be Read shelf, they get their turn. And then I can put them on the shelf and admire them. Great stuff. I read quite a bit of nonfiction in this iteration of the To Be Read shelf. This one, so cool. I was so wrong. If you go back and watch the video of I'm going to read these books, I'll put a link in the notes so you can find it. I ha This has been on my wish list for a really long time, and I found it used for, I think, $3, and that seemed great. And I knew it was about Harper Lee, and it's sort of her last trial kind of situation, and I thought it was about a case involving Harper Lee, and I have that clearly confused with something else. This is fascinating. This author has taken on the life of Harper Lee, the life of Truman Capote, a true crime situation, and interviewed all these people about when Harper Lee came to town to sort of talk to people and investigate and do sort of investigative journalism and try to get the bottom of the real case. Fascinating story that I've never heard. Highly recommend. Also a pretty easy read. The Island of Lost Maps. I've read this before, but I believe I loaned this copy to a friend of mine or gave it to them. Um, and I had an empty spot on my shelf for a while. And I found this perfect copy, brand new condition. And so I reread. So good. We should all take care of our rare book treasures in our public libraries. Thank you for listening to my PSA. Okay, this is cool. Liar Tempest Soldier Spy. I'd heard of this book. Um, I was interested in it. It is a little long, um, daunting, I would say. And I recently went to one of the Civil War national parks. And so I always think, oh, I must read about this now. And I came across this and I thought, all right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to give this a try. And I didn't realize this is nonfiction. This author has done an amazing job, Karen Abbott, of incredible research, so well researched, so much first primary source material, primary source material, uh, diaries, letters, contemporaneous, written at the time. She has so much stuff that it reads like a novel. She's got dialogue and quotes, but it's all nonfiction. And it's about women in the North and the South who, in various means, tried to help 
um, either the Confederate or the United States military during the Civil War. And it's so detailed and captivating. Very good. I would say on your spectrum of super, super easy to read and the hardest to read, we'll get to that later. <laughs> it's kind of here. It's a little bit dense. It is historic. And um, because I think it is based on those, those real accounts, it isn't quite free flowing and modern and easy sort of pop fiction, but it is really, really good. Recommend that one highly. This is kind of fun. I'm a reader. I'm a runner. I like to read about running. <laughs> so whenever I find a book like this about running and it's cheap, I generally pick it up. But this was wonderful. Just so cool. A, um, a llama monk um, who is a marathoner talks about how the idea, the principles of meditation can be used when you're running to calm your mind and enjoy yourself. And I thoroughly enjoyed it and it got pretty cold and we lost our electricity and I had planned to run that day on the treadmill and did not. But that weekend <laughs> when the power came back, I did run on the treadmill and I did think about the things that came up in this book and it, it actually did make it a little bit easier to handle. I, I went on a pretty long run and it did give me some, some things to think about while I was running that made it a little more enjoyable. So thank you. Um, also on the civil war front, spies. Uh, if you played Stratego as a kid, was the spy your favorite piece? Um, uh, for the Civil War theme, I found this one somewhere. It is printed by Barnes & Noble Press. How to be positive. Um, it's, there are some very interesting parts of this. It's written in a very high school report style. It, it's a lot of themes, a lot of short accounts under a heading. The organization is a little unusual. Uh, but some of it was really cool. This one, this was fantastic. Um, really what it was like, just day-to-day -day life for soldiers on both sides, uh, what the living conditions were like, what they ate, how far they walked, what their footwear was like, the weather, the things the human experience that you don't hear as much about. I, I think that even in visiting the national park, it's really more about groups of people and this was about the individual people and some individual stories. I thought this was really good. This was more readable on that much easier accounting. And um, they tried to make it very relatable. What are the things? People miss their families. Um, how long did they think they were going to be gone for? Things like that. Just, I thought, really interesting, relatable. OK, fiction. The sentence. This author, her first book or her last book, The Night Watchman, I want to say, also very highly well recommended and reviewed, was on my list, found a copy, paid more than usual, I think, for that one. Um, this one also had heard it was going to be amazing. So good. There's a bunch of different themes in this book, uh, many about the various types of sentence. Um, there is a bookstore. There are some book recommendations. There's a book list in the back. And it's incredibly well written and lovely. It, and really um, so many emotions and really, very touching. The beginning of the book, sometimes when you read a fiction book and you think, I'm just not sure this is for me. It was the first chunk, I would say, maybe 40, 50 pages that I thought, what is happening? And then it turns a corner and it just really made it easy. It was a good book for me. So I enjoyed this. I can see why it is award worthy. Wonderful. On the other end, <laughs> ridiculous, <laughs> super, super fun. If you like Jane Austen, this is a great fiction book. So good. Makes you question, is time a construct? Uh, oh, Ruth Ware. I love a good suspense story. I love a mystery. I'm on a Agatha Christie kick. I feel like Ruth Ware is living in the legacy of Agatha Christie. Wonderful. I did not know about this book, so I found a used copy and I thought, huh. What I didn't even know to look for. Great, what a great surprise. This is, ah, Ruth Ware at her best. Good stuff. I can't say anything about it, it'll give it away, but so good. Um, oh, and Agatha Christie by the pricking of my thumbs. Vintage, I believe this is a book club edition. This was really fun. Some of her books are more or less relatable. This one I just thought was great. Um, people go, and the people and their backstory, oh, they're very, 
she really nailed it on the get to know these characters. So good. And they go to visit a not completely close relative in a retirement home. And then things get interesting. Oh, Agatha. What a treasure. Um, okay, this one. My husband, possibly a saint, who tries to support my reading habit, <laughs> bought this and another book for me many years ago, and they have been on the to be read shelf. And it's really helping to sort of try to give a balance of books that are good for me, books that I should read, books that are just going to be fun to read. So he bought me these two books by this author that are graphic, choose your own adventure novels based on Shakespeare, <laughs> which is cool, but actually reading them, there's a lot of books that seem to come first. So I finally made time and read them. This one is The Scottish Play, and it was pretty fun, I would say. It's not the kind of thing you're going to reread. And then we come to the catch in this story. <laughs> Don Quixote. Okay, this book. Um, I This is one of the classics that's been on my list. There are a lot of classics that I just give them a try. Jane Eyre, hadn't read it, found a copy, read it, really enjoyed it. Really good. Very readable. Some classics are a little bit more challenging. Some of them are a little bit more eat your vegetables. This will be good for your brain. Don Quixote's been on my list for a while. I like to buy for classics a nice copy, something that has maybe nice illustrations, a nice binding, something that I can get a little excited about. Look at this fancy book I'm going to read. And Don Quixote is a hard one to find. And this copy, so cool. It's got a little bit of nice spine. It's in nice condition. Um, it had a little bit of, you can almost see the webbing here where it's bound. It gets, sometimes it gets a little bit cracked where the front pages are and you can kind of start to see it. I don't think that's terrible. The illustrations in this thing, so good. The tissue paper. There are black and white illustrations in it. And then there are several throughout that have that, the tissue paper and the nice sort of engraving quality. Just very nice. The problem, well, no, there's no problems with this book, but it is a little bit uh, daunting because um, it's very long. Also, what is it about? <laughs> That's without the tissue paper. Isn't that beautiful? So, uh, it, it's a little hard to follow. This book was written bef older even than I thought it was. I, I looked up a little bit about it and tried to get someone to tell me just what is it about? What's going on? I can handle about 10 pages in a sitting. So, it's a little slow going because it is 700 pages long. <laughs> I am on page 480. Um, so why am I declaring that I'm done with the Tubi Red Shelf? I cannot read Don Quixote full time. I can handle it. I also can't figure out what it's about. I read the Wikipedia page in particular, and they have sort of a breakdown of some of the chapters in it. And even they don't, it seems like there's no consensus. It, it is the first novel, one of the first novels. It's incredibly long, and a lot of things happen. Those things do not follow the story arc that we're used to now. There's just things happening. It feels almost like a collection of fairy tales, but it's about a guy who dresses up like a knight. I can't, is it a satire? Is it political? It doesn't seem like anyone really knows. So I am reading it. I am enjoying parts of it. There's some of the things that happen that I think are um, very cute or entertaining. But overall, it's more on the, maybe this is good for me, part of the spectrum. So I'm going to keep reading this one and keep it in the cycle while I read the next To Be Read Shelf. Let me know if you think I'm a cheater. <laughs> if you've read Don Quixote and you understand it, please send me a note because I could use some guidance. Um, okay, so in any event, I read a bunch of books. I liked pretty much all of them. I think of the fiction, my favorite was probably the sentence. It was really, really great. I recommend this highly. I have a feeling I will give this book to people as a gift. It is wonderful. And of the nonfiction, I really liked, I really liked the Liar, Temptress, Soldier, Spy. If you're interested in that period of history, Civil War, and this sort of, what role did women play based on real historic documents? What an incredible job this author did to give us that sort of view into things based on cold hard facts. Great stuff. Um, I will let you know when I finish Don Quixote and what the end result of that is. I'll give you an end review. 
I hope you enjoyed this. If you do want to keep reading, hearing about what I'm reading, should I keep making the videos about the to be read shelves and what's um, kind of going through my hands for in book material, let me know. If you are reading something cool and I should be looking for it to put on my to be read shelf, please let me know. If you're reading something cool or you're having fun, I want to hear all about it. Thank you always for watching and happy reading.